they were my friends and my neighbors, you know. And I hate this happened to them, you know, and I just wish, God, if I could change it all back, change it, I would, but you know, I can't. An explosion levels a west side home. That blast and fire hurt at least six people. The cause, an in-ground fire pit built this week directly on top of a natural gas line. We've had crews at the scene on Rival Ab uh, Avenue all day long. And that's where we find News 8's Lake and McGee now with more lake in the house looks destroyed. Yeah, it sure does. Here is what it looks like right now, like you just mentioned completely destroyed. Now we are seeing some of the pieces that flew across the street. Some of the firefighters actually tell me that this is a piece of the home right here that flew across. They brought it back just to get it out of the way. I do want to show you this right over here. We noticed this right before we went live. That shard of glass right there stuck in the fence. Can you just imagine if it got out of the fence, how much more damage we would have had here? Uh, but I also want to tell you that some of the neighbors are sharing their experiences of what they heard and saw. One woman telling me that she helped a victim escape from the home. Me and my husband was in bed. We heard a loud explosion. We look out and we notice the whole house is in flames. I come running out of the bed. I get to hear young ladies sitting right here. This all this was laying on top of her. I had to drag her out. She couldn't move. She had blood and skin coming off her hands, her arm. She lost all of her hair. So I just threw her on my back and turned and took her to the house across the street and put her on the porch. Got a blanket, covered her up except the exposed spots of the fire. And we just had to wait for the police and the ambulance to get here. Robin Van Cleve was at the right place at the right time. She got to the house before the firefighters. And down the street, Wanda Harris knows the people that lived in the home. She was in bed and says she heard a noise that sounded like gunshots. I came outside. My neighbor over here, she was standing next to one of the house was gone, house was gone. I went down and the house was blazing. It was on fire blazing, you know. Firemen tried to save it, but they couldn't save it. Five different agencies responded to the explosion. Eric Bannister with the Wayne Township Fire Department captured this video on his cell phone. All four walls blown out and fire throughout the entire structure. Bridget Mills lives across the street. And all of a sudden I heard this kapoom. So I ducked down, of course, because I didn't know what was going on. She says the gas company was checking everyone's homes and placing these yellow flags in yards. Bannister tells me right now neighbors have nothing to be concerned about. Now, originally, we were told that three people were taken to the hospital. We do know now that five people were taken to the hospital for care. Live in Indianapolis, I'm Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Lake and thank you. A dog and cat were also hurt in that explosion. Both are in the ICU and on oxygen at Noah's West Side Animal Hospital. Andy Care says they're being treated for burns, matting, and smoke inhalation. The estimated medical bill cost is $4,800.